Hey everybody, it's Brian Buffington, and I had so much fun yesterday that I wanted to make a part two on how to have a board meeting or how to have a meeting, a quarantine style meeting, and to stream it live on YouTube or Facebook. So, but this part two involves on how to have a private, perhaps executive session during this meeting so the public does not have access to that while you're streaming live. Like, how is this even possible? It is possible, and Zoom actually has some built-in features to make it work. So in Zoom, and I just played with this today, I just tested, tested it today, there is a breakout room option. You have, to, you have to go to your account management, and this does not work with the free version. You have to have at least that minimal version, paid version, the $15 a month, no contract. I think it's a good value. Hey, you can make your own opinion. I'm going to come down and find the breakout room option. There's a lot of options here, so don't get overwhelmed. I'm only playing really with a couple of these. There it is, in meeting advanced. I toggled it to on, breakout room. And then that allows the host to split the meeting participants into smaller rooms. And what happens is during the meeting, the host can assign the participants, which is a locked meeting, is the board members, whoever is part of it, assign them to go in these private rooms, and then they can have an executive session. And when the host is ready, can hit a button ending those, those rooms, and they come back into the general public session. Um, and then I'll, sh I'll show you how some of this works. So you got to turn that on. You need to go host a meeting. So I'm, you could schedule one, of course. I'm just going to host a real quick one. I'm going to leave the video off to make life simple. I'm going to join with my computer audio. And here we are. Now, of course, we, we still have to invite our people, just like we would in the video from yesterday. Keep that as private as possible. This is just for your meeting people, just your board members, whoever's in the meeting. The public does not get this. That's how Zoom bombing happens. We don't want that. So if you come down to uh, right here, breakout rooms. Wow. Because yesterday we talked about going live. If you want to watch that video, that's from yesterday. If you click this one, breakout rooms, and right now it says there's zero participants right now. Well, that's kind of sad because nobody's in my video right now, but we just did this today. I tested it with some awesome people here in Northeast Georgia. You can all put into one room. You can manually do it, and you create the breakout room, and then you actually, they get an invite. A little ding happens on there, and it goes, ding, ding, ding. Would you join this, this room? And then they start disappearing from the general session. It's awesome. They start disappearing on the live stream. If you're watching the live stream on a different different screen, you'll see that bam, they're they're disappearing and just shows the host name um, or the host video. Make sure you want you can uh, mute the host or uh, mute the video of the host if you like. And then when they're done, you can end the breakout and they pop back into that general session. So that's the breakout. I highly advise you test this out, get a few people, and just feel good about it. Don't do this on a whim. Practice it maybe a few days at least before, maybe a week before, and feel good about your board meeting that you are quarantining your your people. Quarantine they're that they're at their own houses. You're they're all coming in on their individual devices. You're having a conference and you're streaming it live so the public can see it. But you also have this option to have private sessions and come in and out if needed. Hey guys, enjoy practice and let me know if I can do anything for you.